G'day guys, Glenn here from jazzpianolessons.tv. Today we're looking at key signatures of the major scale and we're looking at the flats. Alright, so in the last video we looked at the sharps. Go check that out if you're trying to work out what those are. And before that we looked at how can we make up any major scale in like 15 seconds and we used a formula tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. Alright, but today we're looking at flats as a key signature. Alright, so all we need to do is remember this bead GCF okay bead GCF bead GCF and then you can remember now it's kind of a there's a bit of a visual pattern that comes along here as well we go up a uh, uh, a fourth each time I mean you can just go up a fourth if you want you can do it that way you know but uh, this is probably for you it's, pr it's probably helpful just to think bead GCF at, at this stage if you're watching this video Okay, so you'll notice the, a visual pattern going on here, uh, where it's you know going down kind of in two lines. Let's make that a little bit better there. So that's uh, and I'm going to put all, all this on my website, jazzpianolessons.tv too, as well to help you out there um, with the theory. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to work it. Okay. That's, that's the pattern. If we've got seven flats, that's what's going to be. Now, you might have noticed that it's the sharps backwards. Father Christmas gets drunk and enjoys beer. All right, so if you find that that's helpful, you could go backwards if you wanted to do that. If you don't, and if you can't remember the sharps, then you might want to do the flats going backwards. I find it helpful to remember it this way and then also to remember it this way for the, you know, when I'm thinking as uh, sharps because... You know, um, sometimes I only want three sharps, so I need F, C, G, and I need them in that order. So for me, that's just a little bit, uh, uh, that's that's how it works for me. All right, if we've got f three flats, for example, to work out what key signature it is, this is only working for flats, right? You need to know that the second last flat is what the key signature is, okay? So here's one, two, three, go back, one, two, this is the key of E flat, all right? So you'll see. Now, if, and if we do tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone, you'll see that that actually happens. These key signatures actually just exist to make sure that that formula that we had before, tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone, actually works okay so these it's kind of a mathematical formula that that kind of and it works it works out so beautifully if we have six flats so if we have six flats we're going to have bead is our first four okay then we're going to have g c the second last flat is the key signature we're in. So we're going back from here. This is one, two. All right. So this is the key signature of G flat. Okay. So that works every single time. There's only one exception, and that's when we only have one flat because we don't have a second last flat, and that's the key signature. F major, and you'll notice that you know we we do our tone, tone, semitone. There's a B flat in there. All right. I hope that helps. That might be a way of uh, working out what key signature you're in. Oh, actually, and what we'll do is is let's go the opposite way. So let's let's say we have a piece of you know a song, or we want to work out what a particular key signature is. Let's say we want to work out what A flat key signature is. What we do is we just go through this cycle. And then go one more. So B, E, A, and then go one more. So that's our second last flat. So therefore, that's A flat major. So then you could write A to A. You can write A to A and then know exactly what's in that key signature. Hopefully that's helpful for you. I really recommend knowing it in tone, tone, semitone, tone, tone, tone semitone and then also working out what the key signatures are for every single key.